<laughs> All right, part five. So it might look like I'm done, but I'm not. So I built this last night, um, and I built this today. So this one is perfect. To be fair, I, I, I cut it out of cardboard first and then fixed problems, and then I did this one. Who knows? If you build it once, you find out exactly what's wrong so you can fix it. So this one has 24 slots that can hold paints. They are oversized, so they can um, fit different sizes of paints. Because um, I know that's one of the things that a lot of these hobby racks have problems with, is they do them just big enough for most paints. But then these these need to these holes need to be five point no sorry one point five five inches instead of one point five, or they can't hold these larger things. And then there's this one. So just using the rubber band to hold the bottom while the glue dries. Then I'll take those off. But things that I've noticed that become even more apparent if I... Oh, there's a knot. There we go. These aren't the same length. This is a half inch shorter. So I need to make this whole thing a half inch deeper. Um, I need to work on these drawers a little bit because they catch in the middle and then there's the other stuff on that. But overall, I am very pleased. One very important piece of information, when buying material for laser cutting, don't go as cheap as possible because I got the cheapest wood plywood I could. This whole sheet of plywood, I was able to get a whole bunch of it, cost me $30, quarter inch plywood. And this sheet of plywood cost me $14 by a two, for a two by four sheet of plywood. And um, so I cut this up and cut this this morning and this cut so much better. This took something like four passes to get through. This took two. And the reason why is because cheap plywood uses filler a lot. And the filler cuts at different rates than the actual wood. So that's the reason why you have to end up doing extra passes. Well, if you do a more high quality wood, it's more consistent. They use less filler. So you can just wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, cut it out. So did that. Also uh, replaced my mirrors on my K40, which made a huge difference. It also showed me that I needed to middle my laser. But we got it all done. So next thing, I'm going to fix this. I'm going to cut another one of these out so that it's good. And then I'm going to design a corner piece so I can do a U-shape. Um, thanks for watching.